residuals and residual plots. This video carries on from um, 4.11 and assumes that you're kind of fairly familiar with creating a regression line. So we'll go straight into statistics and here's the same data set from uh, video 4.11. So we're going to first off um, look at the regression line. So calc, regression, linear regression. Now because we want to have a look at the residuals this time we'll automatically create the residuals and store them into list three, uh, which is blank at the moment. So when we tap OK, um, ClassPad carries out the uh, calculations, gives us the equation of our regression line and the correlation between the two paired variables. When we tap OK, it draws it, but you can also see um, I've got the uh, line of regression here and then the difference. So from this first one, when x is 74, I know that's this point up here. There's a very large positive residual of 40 uh, for this data point here compared to the line. So there's a 40 year difference in that suburb for this data. Um, now, uh, once um, we've had a look at the residuals and we want to actually carry out a residual plot, we're going to close the graph window down here and set up a graph so we tap on set graph now notice previous regression is ticked we want to untick that one uh, and then back to set graph and into setting and we'll choose a scatter graph now of list one but against list three which is where the residuals uh, show up and when we tap set then our last step is to tap the draw graph icon and here's our residual plot. We could choose to resize. And again, you can see, uh, is it uh, as a linear model a good fit here? Maybe not. It seems we've got some negative residuals at either end and in between they're mostly positive. So maybe there isn't a linear relationship here after all. Uh, to close this window, we're gonna tap the cross and our work is done.